everyone, my name is Sasha Yakin. I'm a neurointensivist in Boston and I will be reviewing the um, Trimax Pro by Dr. Sono. It's a portable ultrasound that is wireless. All right, so I've never done an unboxing, so bear with me. Um, my Dr. Sono arrived in a little UPS package. Um, it took about a couple weeks. I was very excited to get it. Um, it is wrapped up like so in a nice silky smooth box here and let's see open it up comes in this nice carrying case I'm gonna toss that and show you what's inside all right so here um, first we have a guide, a user manual on the inside of this pocket, and as well as your warranty card. So I'm going to leave those, this in here for now, take the user manual because we're going to use that. Then your parts, we have our charger, which is wireless, and you plug this in here. It's a USB-C connector, and comes with a wall outlet in the US so this is the kind of co connector I have and when we're ready to charge we'll just lay the ultrasound on here and charge it I'll put that aside for now and then there's this nice little stand for the phone for when you use it or for your iPad which I'll show you later now for the ultrasound itself um, here's your device it is, just has this one button and two blue light indicators. Um, this is where you see how much battery you have and, um, and when you're connecting. So if you look here, my battery is full charge. Um, and uh, right now we are um, uh, connected because of this blue light to the curvilinear probe compared to the flat uh, linear probe here. So. Um, that's the device and then we'll work on using it first things first download the app which is called wireless usg you download it uh, you can open it and then click to allow it to share uh, its location during use and then allow it to connect to your network and then this is what the app looks like So the next most important thing is the wireless connection. Um, so you, once this device is on and the little wireless indicator is blinking, that means that you can go into the settings of your phone um, and find a network um, that is um, similar to these letters here in the guidebook, something like SS1, some letters and some numbers, um, and you connect to that network. Um, then you go into the settings um, and you enter the serial number um, as the, I think it's, it's the password um, for the wireless network. Um, and then I did this on my phone and it automatically connected to my iPad. Um, this took me a little while to figure out just because I don't like reading directions, but once I read it word for word, um, I got it figured out. Um, and next we can use the device. So if you press the center button, hold it, I've now switched to the linear probe and you can see that on my app, I have different options that are more small body parts. So with the linear probe, we can look at thyroid, um, what is this? Pediatrics, vascular, carotid, breast, musculoskeletal, and nerves. So we'll play around with this one first. So I've put some gel on my, um, on my probe here and we're taking a look here. Let's look for the carotid and the IJ. And you can see it showing up right there. The one thing that this um, probe does not have is that it doesn't have, um, oh, actually it does. <laughs> it has this little line here. So uh, when you tap on here, um, this is going to be um, the same place where you have your little green indicator here so you can orient yourself. So let's use our linear probe to look at some lung and some pleura. Um, 
I'm going to change the preset. There's no lung preset for the small probe, but I'll just change it to, to breath. Um, and it's pretty zoomed in, but I'll show you how we can zoom out. And you can see some of the soft tissue and then your pleura sliding. So here is the button for depth, and you can see if I just press it once, it gives me different depths. So now this is my deepest preset, and I can get a little bit deeper to look at the lung. Here are some examples of using the TriScan Max on myself. Here's a parasternal long view of my heart. Um, I have the probe backwards, and uh, the technique isn't the best here. But if I increase the gain, um, you can see my mitral valve, left atrium, and left ventricle. Next, I'm heading down to the abdomen, and you can see my right kidney and my liver. And then my descending aorta and the IVC. And if I flip my probe and follow the IVC, I can get to the right heart and um, I can freeze the pain and measure the diameter of the IVC. Next here is an example of what my radial artery looks like. And here I'm playing around with the color Doppler mode on my carotid and internal jugular. Here is what M mode looks like on my aorta and IVC. First on my aorta and then on my carotid. So overall this portable ultrasound is comparable to the butterfly ultrasound. Um, obviously it doesn't have the kind of quality that we see in um, our formal ultrasound machines in the hospital, but for um, doing lines, um, for quick focus in the ICU. These are really helpful. They can just fit in the pocket. Um, it comes with a very handy guide with all sorts of features that I haven't even had time to explore all of them. Um, so uh, highly recommended. Um, and there is a code in the description where you can get a 12% discount on this product. Um, so it's definitely worth the price. You know, it's, um, it's less expensive than the butterfly ultrasound, um, about the same quality. Um, great if you are doing global health work, if you're traveling around um, and uh, can be connected to any kind of device, um, highly recommend it.